Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Today I'm sharing the cards I made using Love From Lizzie's June 2022 card kit. The theme is Hello Sunshine. As I'm recording this voiceover, the kit and most of the add-ons are still available and I do have links provided in the description box below. This kit is perfect as we head into summertime with all the bright and cheerful colors and designs. Let's go ahead and get started with card design number one. I'm using a card sketch for inspiration. This is from MFT, it's number 593. And if you are interested in any of the card sketches I use in this video, I do share all of that information on my coordinating blog post. That link is provided in the description box below, or you can simply head over to christymarcotte.com. For my first card, I have some teal and white polka dot paper for the background, and I selected two other pattern papers for those narrow strips. I did cut the floral strip just a little bit wider than what's indicated on the card sketch. I'm adding some of the peel-offs that are included in the kit. This is a brand new color, clear blue iridescent glitter. They have lots of shine, but the glitter is sealed, so it won't make a mess at all. I was struggling a bit to get that narrowest width off the sheet. I'm not sure if I received a defective one. Generally, they're very simple to remove from the sheet. I put the narrowest width in the center and the medium width along the outside edge. And this is the pinstripe style. It is Lizzie's most popular peel-off design. I'll layer this piece on some blue cardstock. And this is cardstock from my stash. The kit does include several sheets of cardstock, but I always bring in additional cardstock since I love adding layers to my cards. For the sentiment on the card, this is from one of the pattern papers. It has lots of different sentiments and I fussy cut out the word congratulations. I'm popping it up with some thin foam dimension and I'll adhere to the card basically in place of the banner that's indicated on the card sketch. I'm also adding this sweet little blue bird puffy sticker and one of the pre-tied bow stickers and these are both included in the kit. To finish off the card, I'll add some Nouveau Glitter Drops, and these are included in the kit. It's the Aquatic Mist color. I'll put two drops in the upper right-hand corner and one to the left of the sweet little bird. Thought about adding a couple more around the bow, but I think three was sufficient. So there is my finished card, and this is card number one. I love the bright, cheerful colors in this kit. They're so pretty. For card number two, I'm using a card sketch from Sugar Pea Designs. This is Sugar Sketch number 29. I selected this fun strawberry pattern paper, and on the back side it has a tablecloth looking design. So the two go really well together. I cut a narrow strip to go across the middle of the card, and I have it at an angle. I'm adding some red Love From Lizzie peel-offs along the very edge of that pattern paper. I did cut the strips a little longer than the card and I'll just wrap those ends around the back. Put some ATG tape on the back and add this piece on some red cardstock. And the red cardstock is included in the kit. I'll put my card front onto a card base. All of my cards in this video are American Standard A2 size, four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. Next, I'll start working on the sentiment. I cut out a stitch circle die cut from some very light pink cardstock. I'll be adding the sentiment hello, and this is the stamp set that's included in the kit. There are nine different fonts for the word hello, so it has a really fun variety. I'll stamp it using some intense black ink from Honeybee Stamps. I'm putting the sentiment on the lower portion of the circle, since I'll be adding a few stickers above the sentiment. For that little banner that's on the right side of the circle, I'm using the same red cardstock. Just cut that fishtail and adhere it behind the circle. We'll also be adding one of the puffy stickers, this cute little red heart. I'll glue the banner down in place first using some liquid adhesive, and then I decided to pop up the circle. So I have some thin foam dimension. Remove the release paper and adhere this circle to the card. Sometimes I use card sketches more for inspiration. I'll change up different elements, but this time I am following the card sketch. It's the first time I tried it and it's a really fun sketch. 
Before adhering the red heart, I am putting a small piece of foam dimension on the very right side where it goes off of that circle. Then I'll adhere that in place. Now I'll pull out one of the sticker rolls that's included in the kit. There are four different sticker rolls and there are tons of stickers on each of the rolls. I decided just to use the strawberries and put three of them above the hello sentiment. To finish off the card, I'm using some more Love From Lizzie peel-offs. These are the mini circle style in the silver holographic color. They are so sparkly. I love using the mini shape peel-offs for embellishment. There are three different sizes on the sheet and there's also stars and hearts available. So there is my finished card and this is card number two. This is one of my favorites. I think the strawberry pattern paper is so fun. Moving on to card number three. The card sketch is from Sugar Pea Designs. This is Sugar Sketch number 51. I'm using some craft cardstock for the background. I added this fun detail using a stitched quilt die. It's similar to using an embossing folder, but it doesn't add any extra dimension. Instead, it adds that beautiful stitch detail. I layered that piece on some orange cardstock. Then I selected two different pattern papers, and both of these are the back side of the 12 by 12 paper that's included in the kit. I love this floral design. I rounded the top and bottom corner on the left side, layered that piece on the same orange cardstock. Then for a little bit of shine and contrast between the two pattern papers, I added a gold peel off. This is the medium width. I'll use my craft knife to trim the end on the right side. Then I'll adhere that panel onto my card. For the banner that's on the lower portion of the card, I decided just to use some more of the orange cardstock. I didn't want to bring in any other pattern papers. On the very right side where it goes off of the floral paper, I am putting some small scrap pieces of cardstock just so it doesn't dip down on that very end. At first I put a small piece of foam dimension, but it was way too thick. Then I'll adhere it to the card using some liquid adhesive. If you were adding an image in that circle element on the card, you could put the sentiment on this little banner. But I'll be adding the sentiment to the circle, so instead I'm leaving that banner plain. For the banner in the upper left hand corner, it's a really fun design. I don't have any dies in that shape, so I'll be cutting it myself. I have my small piece of cardstock. I'll cut the fishtail on the bottom. Then I'll angle my scissors in slightly on both sides to create that fun design. I'll adhere it in place using some liquid adhesive. Now I'll start working on the sentiment. I have a pink circle die cut. I'll select one of the hello sentiments. I'll stamp it directly in the center of the circle using some black ink. Then I also wanted to add this sun image. I have the do, -si -do color ink from Catherine Pooler, and I'll do some second generation stamping. Since I don't want it really bold, I just want that very subtle image of the sun in the background. I'll adhere that in place using some liquid adhesive. To finish off the card, I'll use some more of the mini circle peel offs, this time in the gold color. I'm placing them on the card similar to the small stars that are on the sketch, and then I do end up adding one more small circle. Since there are only four embellishments pictured on the sketch, I really wanted to have that odd number of five. So there is my finished card, and this is card number three. This is another favorite of mine, but do let me know which card is your favorite. For card design number four, the card sketch is from OWH. This is number 153. This floral paper is one of my favorites in the kit. I decided to pair it with some of the black and white stripe pattern paper. Just cut those two thin half inch strips. I'll adhere those to the card. I'm trying to get the placement straight by using the grid lines on my craft mat. Then I'll add some black pinstripe Love From Lizzie peel offs. Just put them along the edge of the black and white stripe paper. Since I will be covering up a fairly large portion, I don't need to have a full peel off strip going across the card. 
So this is always a good time to pull out some of those little scraps that are left over on the sheet. Since I'm always trying to use up those small peel off scraps, I don't really have very many for the black pinstripe. There are some colors I have tons of small pieces. I think it just depends on what project I'm working on. Then I'll wrap those ends around the back, put some ATG tape on the back of this piece and layer it on some black cardstock. I'll put my card front onto a card base, leaving that eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. Now I'll add one of the cut aparts that's included in the kit. I love this Hello Sunshine. I'll layer it on some gold holographic cardstock and then again on some black cardstock. You'll only see that thin border of the holographic cardstock, but it really adds this beautiful shine. A few months ago, Lizzie offered some holographic cardstock bundles. I love having these since they're so sparkly. I will be popping up the sentiment using some foam dimension. Try to get good coverage so there isn't one area that sags. I'll remove the release paper and adhere it to the card following this sketch fairly closely. Using the yellow ribbon that's included in the kit, I tied a small bow and I did this off screen. I'll put a small glue dot on the back side and adhere the bow underneath the Hello Sunshine sentiment. This yellow matches the yellow of the sun almost perfectly. To finish off the card, I'll add a few glitter enamel dots. These are not included in the kit. They're from a previous kit, but Lizzie does sell them individually. This color matches beautifully with the teal pattern paper. There is my finished card, and this is card number four. For card number five, the design is fairly similar, but I'm not really following a card sketch. I love this cheerful watermelon pattern paper. I'm adding a strip of red polka dot paper, and this is the back side of the watermelon paper. I'll line that piece with some green holographic peel offs in the pinstripe style. I'm using the medium width. Just wrap those ends around the back, and I'll layer this piece on some green cardstock. Generally, I add an additional eighth of an inch for my cardstock layers. So that watermelon pattern paper is five and a quarter inches by four inches. The green cardstock layer is five and three eighths of an inch by four and one eighth of an inch. And I am leaving that eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. Next, I'll add a banner using some green pearlescent cardstock. And this is one of the add-ons you can purchase. I love Lizzie's pearlescent cardstock. I'm using one of the three by three cut aparts, a couple of watermelons with the sentiment yum. I layered it on the same green cardstock. Before adhering it to the card, I am putting some scrap cardstock above and below where it goes over that green banner. And I'm using pink cardstock, but nobody will see it since it'll be adhered underneath this piece. If I had some green cardstock next to me while I was making this card, I probably would have used the green, but I'm okay using the pink. It would end up in the recycle bin anyway. I'll put some liquid adhesive on the back and adhere it to the card on the left side. For a little extra detail around that cut apart, I'm using the blue peel offs that are included in the kit. I wanted to use the narrowest width, but as I mentioned earlier, I think I got a defective sheet. The medium and the wider width work just fine. So instead I'll use the medium width. I'll add one strip just inside the outside edge. At the moment, I do have the strips cut a little bit longer than this cut apart, but I will be cutting off the extra. So now I have one strip along all four sides. I'll use my craft knife and miter the corners together. Then I can remove the excess piece. So it creates this really fun little frame around your cut apart. The cut aparts are fun, but it's always nice to step them up just a little bit. I'm making sure to press those corners together. Don't want those peel offs coming off later. The kit includes a small bag of fruit shaker bits. I dug through it and selected a watermelon slice. I'm putting a small drop of glue at the lower portion of the letter U and I'll add that watermelon slice there. 
Then to finish off the card, I'll pull out some more mini circle peel-offs, this time in the black color. I'm using the smallest size and adding three of them to the upper right-hand corner. So there is my finished card, and this is card number five. I love the vibrant colors of the watermelon, and it's fun that there's red and also pink watermelon slices. Now moving on to card number six. I'm using one of the add-ons. This is the pinwheel die set. Includes six different dies and also a package of brads. So you can create these fun dimensional pinwheels. Now I'm not sure if I'm actually doing this correctly, but it worked for me. I use one of the pattern papers, so it would be double-sided. I'm folding in all of the corners so the holes all line up. I push the brad through what I think is the back side. Once I had all of the holes lined up, I removed the brad from the back side to the front side, flipped it over, flattened the two tails of the brad, and now I have this fun little pinwheel. And I did make a second using the same pattern paper so you could see the different design. I used the blue cardstock included in the kit and also this fun stitched die for the background so it looks like the wind is blowing. It's actually a snow swirl die, but I think this works well for the pinwheel card. I also added a couple little hills, one from the floral pattern paper and the other from some green cardstock. I cut a narrow strip from some blue pearlescent cardstock and this will be the post for the pinwheel. I'll put my card front onto a card base, leaving a fourth of an inch of the white card base showing. I wanted a little wider border this time. To adhere the pinwheel to the card, I put some liquid adhesive on the back, and if I held this probably for a minute, it would have been just fine, but it kept popping up. So I decided to add some small glue dots also, and then a little more liquid adhesive. Once the glue dries, this pinwheel is not coming off. For the sentiment, I've already stamped out the word hello. I stamped it on that same blue cardstock, and I did pop it up using some foam dimension. Then to finish up the card, I'm using the Nouveau Glitter Drops that are included in the kit. Put a couple in the upper left-hand corner and a few around the sentiment. So there is my finished card, and this is card number six. This pinwheel die set is so much fun. There are so many different designs. Now moving on to card number seven. I have some white cardstock in my mini Misty. I've already stamped out the hearts with the little line, and this is a stamp that's included in the kit. Next, I'll add one of the hello sentiments right above that little line. Next, I'll add this beautiful glittery heart pattern paper, and this is one of the add-ons. The entire sheet is glitter, but it's nice since it's all sealed, so this does not make a mess at all. Even being cut, I didn't see any little bits of glitter anywhere. So I cut a large triangle, so now it's half the size of the card, and I am using a card sketch for inspiration. I just forgot to pull it out. This is MFT number 588. I will be layering this panel on some silver holographic cardstock, but first I wanted to add a peel off between that heart pattern paper and the solid cardstock. I'm using the silver holographic peel offs in the pinstripe style, using the widest width and just put one right along the edge of that heart paper. Flipped over the panel to trim off the extra. Then I can layer this piece on that silver holographic cardstock, and this is so shiny. I'll put my card front onto a card base. Then to finish off the card, I'll add just a few of the heart stickers. This is another roll of stickers that's included in the kit. Adding two blue hearts above the hello and also a red heart. So there is my finished card, and this is card number seven. For card number eight, I'm using this really fun sketch from Freshly Made Sketches. This is number 537, and this is the first time I've tried this sketch. I have some orange pattern paper for the background, and for that other element, I'm using this green paper with lots of beautiful flowers. On the back side of this piece, I measured out where I think those angles should be, and I put a small pen mark. Although once I cut it, it didn't look quite right. So then I just took my scissors and trimmed off a little more. 
And I think this looks a little better to match the sketch design. I'll be layering both of these pattern papers on some orange pearlescent cardstock. This is part of the pearlescent cardstock bundle. I'll add that fun floral paper to the card front. Before I layer the orange cardstock, I am adding a few peel offs. These are the clear yellow iridescent glitter peel offs in the pinstripe style. I'm adding the medium and the narrowest width to the bottom of the card. Since the glitter peel offs are a little bit thicker, I don't like to wrap those ends around the back since it will leave just a small bump on the front of the card. So instead I'll flip over that panel and trim them at the very edge of the paper. I'll layer the pattern paper on the same orange pearlescent cardstock. Then I can add my card front onto a card base, leaving that eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. For the small banner that goes behind the circle, I'm using some light pink cardstock. I'll just cut a fishtail on both ends and I'll adhere it to the card using some liquid adhesive. For the sentiment on the card, I'll be using one of the stickers from the four sticker rolls that are included in the kit. One roll has all round sentiments. I thought this one worked perfectly with that green floral paper. This is Life is Good. And I cut out a slightly larger circle die cut from some green cardstock. Before adhering it to the card, I will put those scrap cardstock pieces above and below where it goes over that pink banner. Then I'll adhere it in place using some liquid adhesive. I made good use out of that scrap pink cardstock for this set of cards. I think my glue was sitting too long. I needed to clear off the little dried piece at the very end. For a final finishing touch, I'm cutting a small banner from the orange pearlescent cardstock and I'll adhere it in the upper right hand corner. So there is my finished card and this is card number eight. This is a really fun design and I'll definitely be using it again. Now moving on to card number nine. I love this cut apart with the bluebirds and the sentiment hello. I'll first layer the cut apart on a scallop square die cut. It has a stitched border along the outside. Then I'll be adding this panel onto the blue pattern paper background. I'll put some ATG tape on the back and also a little bit of liquid adhesive along that very outside edge. Since it does have the stitch detail, the liquid adhesive just helps everything lay down nice and flat. I'll add a couple of peel offs to the lower portion of the card. I wanted to use the medium and also the narrowest width, but then I realized I'm out of the narrowest width. So instead I'm using two medium peel offs. Just wrap those ends around the back. And this is the gold color peel off in the pinstripe style. I'm trying to get that bottom one nice and straight. Then I'll put ATG tape on the back and layer this piece on some blue cardstock. And this is cardstock from my stash. I'll add my card front onto a card base, leaving that eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. Then I'll adhere one of the paper bows. There is foam dimension on the back side, and it does have adhesive, but I decided to add a little bit of liquid adhesive just to make sure it stays in place. For a final finishing touch, I put a small gold heart peel off above the two little birds. So there is my finished card and this is card number nine. For card number 10, I have this lovely soft mint pattern paper for the background. I'm adding some double-sided tape to the lower portion. This is fourth of an inch double-sided tape. I'll remove the release paper, then adhere two strips of the ribbon that's included in the kit. And the color matches almost perfectly with the pattern paper. Trying to make sure to get those nice and straight. Then I'll put a little bit of ATG tape on that back side and wrap those ends to secure them in place. I'll also add a small piece of double sided tape on top of the ends of the ribbon. Then I'll put ATG tape on the back and add this pattern paper panel on a scallop or rectangle die cut. And I cut out that piece from some yellow pearlescent cardstock. 
I'll add my card front onto a card base and you do see just that little bit of the white card base showing. For the images on the card, I'll be using one of the dies that's included in the kit. There's a sweet little bird and also a dandelion die. And I love the little dandelion. So I cut it out from some green cardstock and also from some white glitter cardstock. I've already assembled four of the dandelions. From the green cardstock, I did trim off most of the dandelion seeds. And then on the white piece, I trimmed off the stem. And I'll just glue those two pieces together. I'll put a small piece of foam dimension on the back side of each of the dandelions. Then I'll adhere them to my card, creating this fun little field of dandelions. I'll remove the release paper from the foam dimension, then add liquid adhesive to the stems. I'm placing three of the dandelions down first, trying to get them evenly spaced. Then the final two dandelions will be tucked in between the other three. But I want the three to look like they're in front. So I'm gently pulling forward the seeds on those front three dandelion. Don't want to rip them since they are fairly fragile. And I can add my final little dandelion in place. For the sentiment, I'll be stamping it directly onto my card. So I am using my Misty, stamping the word hello on the right side. And we won't talk about how dirty my Misty is. My daughter recently used my Misty, and apparently she did not clean it. In the lower left hand corner, I'll add a bow using the same green ribbon. Just put a small glue dot on the back side to adhere it in place. Then I'll also add a couple of yellow heart stickers next to the sentiment. So there is my finished card and this is card number 10. I love how this one turned out. The dandelions are so fun. Now here's another look at the 10 cards I made using Love From Lizzie's June 2022 card kit. The theme is Hello Sunshine. This card kit is so fun. Lots of bright and cheerful colors and designs. If you are interested in purchasing the kit or any of the other products I used in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. As I'm recording this voiceover, the kit and most of the add-ons are still available. This is a monthly kit, so quantities are always limited. Once it sells out, it's gone for good. Now here's a look at everything I still have left over from the kit. Two full sheets of the colored cardstock and some scraps. Here's the 12 by 12 cut apart scraps that I still have. Lots of small scraps of the six by six pattern paper and one full sheet. I have the stamp set. I'm gonna get a lot of use out of all those hellos. I still have most of the sheet of peel offs. There are five wooden pieces and I never did use those. I have the two dies, the Nuvo glitter drops. Another item I didn't use is the chunky glitter. Here's the rest of those little fruit shaker bits. All four rolls of the stickers. And I used all of them except for the one. I still have quite a few of the puffy stickers, three of the paper bows, and quite a bit of the ribbon. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.